Hello guys! In this video, I will show you on how to create a simple navigation in Ionic. So, let's start. Okay, so we have here a blank project. Then, we'll be creating a list here. Okay, displaying the different programming language available. Okay, so, so let's change the title to Programming Languages. So, we'll be copying this one, and we'll be changing the blank. And then first, we need to create a, or specify, or use the ion list component. And then, we'll be adding the, an item here. Ion item okay and then on our ion item we'll be adding the ion label the ion label then on our ion label for example uh, we'll be adding the java okay then first we need to check the output so we have here the java java programming language so we'll be adding more programming languages that we know Here, well, for example, we will be displaying the Python, C, C++, okay, one more time, check the output, okay, so we have uh, four programming languages, so in this uh, tutorial or video, We'll be adding the simple or we'll be creating a simple navigation so that means if the user clicks on the java it will be it will open to another page and will display a short information about java about python about c about c++ so depending on the programming language that will be clicked by the user so okay so in here we'll be creating a simple uh, navigation so to enable that first we need to use the href property of the ion item and then let's say for example we'll be specifying a, a name of our uh, route which is java or the location java and then for the others we'll be specifying Python, C, and this one is C++. So we can we can choose the C++. Uh, we need to try that later on. So for the meantime, C. Now uh, let's try to use that C++. Uh, let's check what will be what will happen. href. This one is href. okay after specifying the link okay so all we, the next thing that we need to do is to create the route so to create a route all we need to do is we go to source and the router folder open it then open the index.ts or the typescript file for the router so just Click on that uh, file and then it will display the index.ts file. And then, as we can see, 
we can see the default route okay which is the home directory okay home page of our application so now we'll be adding our own route so all we need to do is just copy the existing route then okay so the first route that we specify is java so all we need to do is to change home into java let's say the name is also java and the component so what is the home component so we need to import the component you are going to display okay so for example uh, this one we have a home home that view so it is located to our view folder so we only have one one file in our view folder so for the meantime let's create the java and then we need to import that since we don't have yet the java file we will just create that later and we'll name it as java okay then since this one is not existing we need to create this file okay so all you need to do is to click on the view then right click on it the new file and then the file is the file name is java.view so don't forget to add the view as extension name then it will create it will automatically create a blank view file so all you need to do is copy copy and paste the content on our java view and then first we need to remove the list and let's just let's just change that into paragraph tag and then on our paragraph tab let's say we'll just add a text java and in here we'll just change that to java and also on our title just change that to java and then let's check the output of our application so just refresh to make it sure that the changes uh, appears or apply to our project then let's try to click the java folder or the java programming language then wait as you can see we are redirected to java since java is the link or the expected location so it displays the java so you can add the information uh, about java programming here for the meantime uh, i just add java as the value or the content of the java programming language so we can also add a, a back here okay a back button here that when the user clicks on the on this back button it will display or it will show you or you will be directed to the home page of our application for the meantime since we don't have the back button we'll just use the back button of the browser but when you publish this application you don't have a back button on your browser but instead the back feature of your phone the next is let's try to click the python so automatically it will display uh, nothing so we don't have route for the python and also we don't have file that contains about python so next is let's try to add another so you can start it from creating a file first and then let's name it as python.view 
and then on, a, on our route okay you just copy copy first the content of the java and to paste it on our python and then let's change that to python 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 okay and then on our index.ts will be just we'll just copy okay so let's change that to python then of course the name is python and then for the component there are other ways to import the view okay on our project so we can do that by import import then single code at slash views slash python dot view so you can do this or you can import on our header import java from views so this one is the same depends on our how are you going to define your route okay so let's check our output by uh, clicking the python then successfully display the python now we'll be adding the back button here so that uh, this uh, this is more convenient for the user so on our Java project, so in here we'll be adding a back button to easily go back to our home page. Okay, so we'll be adding a back button to our Java.view for first. So we'll be cutting this uh, title. And then we'll be adding a, a component which, which is the ion buttons. Then inside of our ion buttons, we'll be adding the ion back thus button. Ion dash back button and inside of our iron buttons we need to paste the title and then we'll be adding the uh, attribute which is default href is equal to let's say slash home then for us to use the iron back button, we need to import to our project. So, ion. So, after the ion toolbar, let's say ion. Ion back button. Then on our components we need also to specify that after the iron toolbar then let's save it then let's write our application and we can use the back button so we are able to go back to the home page so let's try that again java and then click the back button so we're able to go back to our home page so let's try to add a back button for the python so once you click the python there must be a back button on its title so all we need to do is just to 
Okay, so let's just copy the iron button to our Python file. So, paste. And just change that to Python. And then for our Java, we'll be copying that so that we will not encode that anymore. So, iron back button. Then to our component, copy, paste, then paste, control S. Then let's try the, our application if the back button will appear. Okay, click on the back button. So it successfully uh, returned us to the home page. So that's all. Thank you for watching. See you on our next videos.